Test-Driven Development, TDD. It isn't just about coding for quality, it's about coding with pleasure and finding a better working flow. In this tutorial step, we are going to get set up with TDD. We're going to get a better way to use Jest, an easier way to use Jest, and then we're going to get into some TDD basics, including my favorite, fail faster. In the first tutorial step, we took a look at running our Jest tests using the NPM tool window. We're going to do something a little bit better this time. We're going to show you a tool window dedicated to testing, dedicated to Jest. How can I get it to run? The easiest way is to go to your test file. We'll also reformat this one for prettier. And from the middle of your test file, you can walk up to any individual test or to the test file as a whole, and you can run it and it will run with an output window that is Jest. You see the little cute little icon for the Jester Jest. It's running the tests and it says we have a failed test. This is because in the previous step, we changed our markup to no longer say learn React. We had it say, hello React. Now if I rerun my tests, It goes through the process of transpiling everything, and now my tests pass. That one's an easy way to run a single test or a single test module. There's a little bit of a better way. Make instead of a temporary run configuration, which is what this is, we're going to go and manually create a run configuration. We're going to say this run configuration is of type Jest, and it's going to say all tests. And I'm going to add, the reason for doing this is uh, it'll be permanent, but I'm also gonna add this option so that Jest will always be watching my code and my tests for changes. And all I have to do is wait a little bit. I don't have to run anything manually. And so now if I run this and run all tests, it'll fire up Jest, fire up the watcher, and it will wait for me to type things. And if I say, Goodbye, React. When I save, I just have to wait a little bit and the test will run and it will say I failed. And if I put it back and run, just wait a little bit, it will uh, pass the tests after I save. And this is like TDD. Everything is always running. I don't get too far away from running my tests when I make a whole bunch of changes and then find out I'm screwed because I don't even know how to get back to the road. One point I'd like to add, uh, create React app bundles Jest as a test runner. It also bundles testing library as a set of helpers for React and other types of frameworks. And that's what this assertion is, get by text comes from testing library. Let's see a little bit of TDD in action. I'm gonna put some code in my test, simulating putting it somewhere else and then write a test for it. I'm gonna say something like, I have a const of actual equals one, I have a const of expected equals, we'll say two, and then I'm gonna say expect actual to equal uh, expected. When I save, the test is gonna run, and this test is gonna fail because those two things aren't equal. And if these tests are failing, let's say I'm not even in this code right now, I am in some other part, the IDE with this custom tool window down here for test running, I can double click and it will open the file and put me on the line of the failure, which is pretty cool. It also gives me some other things, a gutter decoration red that tells me this is the test that failed, I get a, a line in the scroll bar. I get the option to run just this test, run it under the debugger, which we will do in a later lesson. And I get, a, I get integration into the problems. So this tells me I've got one problem and I can go to the next error. I get a red squiggly under the assertion that failed. This is cool. Let's say I have my tool window closed or on a separate window. I've detached that tool window and I'm running it on a separate monitor. I get almost all the information I need right here in line in the editor. I can hover over it, get more information about the expected and the actual, some other information about the matcher and this little provocative thing. We will take a look at that one later. 
Let's get my code back into a working mode. I'm gonna put this back to one and one, save, let the test run, everything goes great. Let's talk a little bit about something I call TDD mode, a way to get my brain into the working fashion of testing. And the way that I kind of trick my brain into this is I hide the project tool window, I split vertically, with on the left is my code that I'm testing, on the right is the test that I'm writing, and then at the bottom is my test runner. And when I see this three pane layout, I think, ah, Zen mode, I'm in a good spot, I'm working on my testing, everything's great. So with this in kind of Zen mode, what I'd like to do is um, get some of these tests to fail and see what TDD mode looks like, um, and so over here, if I'm working on my code and I make a change and I'm working and I'm working, and I'm working because as soon as I save, my tests are going to run. I'm going to find out pretty quickly that there's something wrong with my code and I can either go fix the test if the test is broken or I can fix the code like I do in this case. So this works out to be pretty cool. This is an example of test driven development, TDD. Work on some code, test fail, flag where the problem in the change that I just made, go and fix the change. We'll do a little bit of cleanup. We don't really need these lines anymore. So I'll remove them, save, and I'll finish off this tutorial step with test passing.